Nche niko nkuru kwa Sara Nyarange on Twitter kaba mo na inchi wika omwelio ekorotoko cha kakura igase orgongo rwa gusi county ya Kisi haigasu mchubusongo nyoranga omurai wiki ya makia waipa Steven Kalonzo Msioka na baraibande kuruwa sobe mabuazi milo moja wan Kenya gati ya wayuji no malwa niko batari reto orgongo rwa gusi abuo igoro se county ya nyamira ne county ya Kisi abuo asili tukulia lero wa nyara kwa babago kuwa na nechi nyomba chuburalia. Kalonzo msioka na aroleka na kuma chia serekali aso kutaba kana banyagitari na kuma ikira nilia magani yabo alibaga netie ntukia ireira wana banyagitari varase omogiro. Waigo kuwa nere goro ye kadi ya NHIF ne kadi ya shifu aso waigo kuwa nere igoro ye kerogo kia African Union kose EU kio morai wazmio la umoja wan Kenya raila odinga kuligi ya baraya bangi barole kanire komoko bokore la udinga asiganga yaye tigango totegerin kwa na yaye Steven Kalonzo Msioka so mambo haya eh waelegeshe kama waisporegeshe hiyo kamba wananchi bado wanaona matibabu ni so basic it's a basic human right and we don't want our Kenyan Kenyan patients wherever we know the mess the mess there is by the way in the health sector real mess they are now transitioning from NHIF to what they are calling SHIF. And even as we speak, under NHIF, monies have been collected. And those monies have not been given over to the service providers. So there are, doctor, there are hospitals, including mission hospitals, which are owing so much uh, by way of um, um, monies that NHIF should pay. And they are saying, wait until June when you transition from NHIF to SHIF. Now, the question is, yes. who is handling that? What are they doing with that money? And people are talking about one name and one name only, Zakayo, mm. and his punitive taxes. That is a common cry across this country. And this is something that we must ask ourselves. Where did the rain start beating us? And it started with the apparent capture of parliament. When as Azmio we won the majority of the region, six out of eight, we won the majority of the counties and constituencies. Kenya Kwanzaa embarked on a very nefarious mission of buying members of parliament to cross over to create an artificial majority. It's this majority that Kenya Kwanzaa is using to pass anything and everything in parliament from their policies that are hurting Kenyans through the over taxation to decisions that are outrightly unlawful including that of the privatization act where the oversight role of parliament donated by the people of Kenya was being donated now to the executive to privatize everything in this region right from Sony to Mohoroni to Chemele to Nzoya the other side all sugar factories were closed for six months and now they're in the process of privatizing them. But already as Azimio, and we want to thank our brothers in ODM, we had already obtained orders stopping the privatization because of the bad law passed by this parliament. 